Good morning, everybody. T Spence back with another video. Going out ice fishing again today. No target fish, just fish. That's the target. Um, it is five degrees out. It is cold. It says five, but with the wind, it feels like it's in the negatives. But what do you do when it's cold out? You go fishing. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. So thank you everybody so much for watching and staying tuned and today should be fun. If not, it's gonna be cold, but who cares? We're out doing it, right? And that's where the fun is. So thank you for watching. Well, we're here, parking lot's empty. We're gonna have a full day of fishing today. We might have a couple friends showing up, I'm not sure yet, but this is gonna be a lot of fun. Before we get started, I threw, uh, threw the full wheeler on. We're going to take this out today. That is a CF Moto 600. It's a 2019. I just bought it a few months ago. Just so all of you know, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm not sponsored by Game Tech, CF Moto, anybody. I just like showing people what I use, what equipment I have, and everything so that if you have ideas, you can watch this and hopefully it'll help you out make a decision on what you want to purchase. So like I said, I'm not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. Just like showing you what I have and what I like to use. So let's get this thing off the, off the truck and let's get out fishing. everybody we got our first flag of the day let's go check it out all right first flag of the day it's really windy so I'm hoping it's not a wind flag let's check it out on the ice with this baby. Awesome, awesome. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so this is the fish that I just caught. Just filleted it out like I usually do. A little bit of bones in there, but that's all right. That's gonna be really good. It's literally fresh 10 minutes ago. Super excited to try it. What I'm gonna do, 
Take a little bit of butter and coat that whole bottom of the pan. Just gonna use my finger because I don't have any silverware. That's all right. That's what we're gonna do. Now, the reason why we're putting in so much butter is what I'm gonna do. Putting in a lot of butter because I'm gonna turn this sideways because of my uh, shield there on my stove. Shake and bake original chicken. Just gonna take that whole filet and shake it in that. There we got our shake and bake. I'm gonna take that fish and just throw it in that bag, shake it around. The reason why I'm using so much butter is because I'm using it as an oil base to basically fry this fish filet that's in that shake and bake. So I want the oil pretty hot. I want a good layer of butter on the bottom. Basically what I'm doing, instead of using vegetable oil, I'm using butter. Look at that. Both sides of it. Oh yeah, she's ready. Not all the butter's thawed, but that's all right. She's ready to be fried. See, that's the benefit of always bringing a knife. You never know when you're going to need it. Sorry if it's hard to hear me. It's kind of windy out here. Smells really good. I gotta say, on the skin, the shake and bake doesn't really want to stick. Look at that, all in there. These bones, look how easy those come out. Boom, boom. Tell me, how good does that look right now? Shake and bake, fresh trout, caught about now 15 minutes ago. Doesn't get much better than that.
crazy tender right there. Unbelievable. Just a, look how beautiful it is today. How can you beat this? Yeah, the wind's a little a little bad, but I'm in a cove, so it's really not too, too bad where I'm at, but really can't beat this. So beautiful out. All right, we're inside the shack just because it's really windy out and I want you guys to be able to hear me. There's uh, the IBC root beer, my favorite. I love these things. And the moment of truth, look at that fish. Not sure how well you can see it, but that just smells delicious. <sighs> Cheers, shake and bake trout. Oh man! That is perfect. I gotta say, that's better than when I cooked it at the house. A little bit of shake and bake on that. Oh, ho, ho. you don't need anything else, but you don't need egg. You don't need milk. Nothing. Just original chicken shake and bake, oil or butter. Oh, ho, ho, man. <laughs> Look at that. How can you beat that? Oh, shoot. I'd eat that any day of the week. Oh, man, absolutely any day of the week. Oh, let's see if we can catch another one. All right, I just want to show everybody the setup that I have today. There's my pack basket right there with my ice traps. I always bring extras just in case. Just in case one breaks or what have you. Here is my full wheeler oh yeah gotta tell you first time out on the ice with this baby she's working like a dream next we have camp I've got the Eskimo quick fish 3i so far so good I fished with it a few times love it there's my stove and my table my bait bucket slash seat and here's the inside of it got quite a bit of room especially just for me and maybe one or two other people there's all my stuff right there I bring a lot of stuff with me because I bring a lot of stuff because you never know when you're gonna get hungry or when you want to eat or who else is gonna show up so I always bring a lot of food a lot of things to drink sorry winds blowing yeah but like I was saying I bring a lot of food and a lot of stuff to drink because you never want to run out of that stuff so a little bit later for lunch I'm gonna be cooking up some red hot dogs those of you who have had red hot dogs you know what I'm talking about they are awesome while ice fishing those of you who have never had a red hot dog you have got to try one I don't know if they're a New England thing or a Maine thing but I love them the best hot dogs I've ever had so if you do ever come to this area to Maine that is try them they are delicious if you're a hot dog fan all right, now, just a waiting game for another flag. I think I might ch check my traps here in a little bit, just to see maybe if my bait's messed up or make sure my line's all straight. I was having trouble last week with my line getting all knotted up. And I think I had too much leader out, and with that new line, I think what it was doing is that it was just balling itself up into a knot. And it doesn't help when the bait's swimming all around it either. So I shortened the lines, or the leaders, sorry. Let's see if maybe we can have a little bit more luck and not have as many knots in our line. I'm just gonna sit here, enjoy my IC, IBC root beer, and do nothing. <laughs> enjoy the quiet, enjoy the day. It's super sunny out. It doesn't even feel that cold. I think probably on the temperature gauge, it's probably going to say it's around 10 degrees-ish. But I got to tell you out here, it feels 20-ish, yeah. When the wind's not blowing, it feels perfect out. It's great. So I'm happy that I made it out to do it. And that's why you never let the cold or anything else steer you away from what you want to do. If you want to go fishing, whether it's snowing, windy, cold, get out there and do it. That's the only way you're going to catch fish. And to me, it might not be for everybody, but to me, 
as long as I'm out, even if it's cold or windy, what have you, I still enjoy it. I just love being out here. So, to give you an idea why I love IBC root beer so much. So one, root beer is my favorite soda. It's just delicious. But also when I was a kid, my grandfather, who um, as of a couple years ago passed away, um, when I was a kid, we used to go over and visit and he would always have cases of these. And we'd always go over and we would always, uh, well, I would drink a bunch of them and I'd get hyper off sugar and I'm sure my dad and my mother were real happy about it, but he always had these. So every time I drink them, it reminds me of him. And um, sometimes it kind of makes me feel like that he's here with me. So cheers to good times and good memories. <sighs> oh yeah, that's really good. So just to keep everybody updated on my goals with this channel and if you haven't already, go on Instagram and follow T underscore Spence with an E at the end underscore videos and that's right on Instagram so that you can see all the latest pictures and everything else that I've posted. I haven't posted much yet but I really want to make it something big. Something that I want to do is... I would like to start doing what I call a shout out Sunday or a T Spence Sunday. Either either one. I haven't quite decided on what I want to call it yet. But all of you who are watching, if you follow me on Instagram and you send me a message with a picture of a fish that you caught, what I'll do is I'll give you a shout out on there. I'll post a picture, tag you in it, and if you could send me a brief description of of how you caught it and the story behind it then I'll post that with it as well really cool just really want to get everybody intertwined in what we're all doing here also once again not sponsored just friends of mine super cool app check it out game ticks you can do the same as well so that's the plan I want to try to do a video if I can every week um, real life gets in the way sometimes, so it might be kind of hard to do so, but I'm going to really try. I really enjoy doing this. It's getting me outdoors to do what I love doing and what I've always loved doing. And you that are watching, I'm sure that is things that you love to do too. So I'm glad everybody's watching. And I hope that you're enjoying all these videos. So don't go anywhere yet. We're still here. It's only 11.07. Hopefully we catch a few more fish. And if we don't catch a few more fish, hey, it is what it is, right? I gotta say, this insulated Eskimo ice shack is freaking warm. I don't even have the heater in here. I could easily turn the heater on and be super comfortable, but I don't even need it. Just from my own body heat and just getting out of the wind, I mean, it's warm. Tell you what, it's the first time I've had to use this thing this year. This is a buddy heater. And I'm so happy I brought it because the wind is going nuts outside. And uh, the temperature, uh, because of the wind, has gone down. It says it's 10 degrees out, but it really feels colder than that outside. So I've got the door shut in the shack. I've got the heater going. So it's nice and comfortable in here. Man, without... With how crazy the wind is, you'd think that I'd at least get a wind flag. Nothing. Other than that one brook trout, we haven't gotten anything. But, still staying positive. Catching fish is a bonus. Just being out here is what we're here to do. So, either way, I'm tickled pink. I'm going to eat some snacks. Pringles. Maybe some beef jerky. Another IBC root beer. I'm going to cook those hot dogs in a minute. My stove and everything's outside. Didn't really feel like bringing it back in. So I'm going to leave it out there for now. Hopefully the wind dies down so I can cook out there. If not, I'm either going to bring the stove in here and try to cook or I might just, I might just not cook any hot dogs. Which is fine. we got other stuff we can eat too. So Here's to staying hopeful and hopefully we'll have some good luck.
Oh yeah, time for lunch. The wind's died down, we're gonna give it a shot. So I kind of frigged up just a little bit. I went to go outside to cook up these hot dogs, thought I was recording, and got a flag on the closest trap to me. And um, I thought I filmed the whole thing, super excited, and I forgot to film it all. But I did catch another trout. Check this one out right here. Yeah, that's a nice one. That one's about 15. I'll measure him before I leave. I'm not going to do another catch and cook out here with him because, unfortunately, it's too windy out. The stove, I had just, just about what I could do to cook up the hot dogs. So I'm going to bring this home. If I catch another trout, I'm done keeping trout. This is my second one. Two's the limit today for me. And hopefully we do catch another trout so we can do a catch and release. But look how beautiful that trout is. Nice red belly. I'm not sure if any of you can see it. The spots on it are are nice deep red with blue around them. Such a beautiful fish. And um, it will not go to waste. Appreciate all you watching. I'm going to eat these hot dogs and keep fishing. Well, that is the conclusion of our fishing trip today. Managed to do a brook trout catch and cook. That, I'll say it again, that was probably the best brook trout I've ever had in shake and bake. Just original chicken shake and bake. It was phenomenal. And like I said before, didn't need any egg, didn't need any milk, no salt and pepper, anything. Honestly, just the shake and bake. Fry it in butter. Oh man, nothing like a fresh fish, especially brook trout. Brook trout is absolutely delicious. Today was a lot of fun. Hit at this morning, it wasn't that bad at all. The wind actually wasn't bad. It wasn't too cold. If the if the weather had stayed like that, I could have fished for the rest of the afternoon. But when the wind picked up on our side, it was too much. It was hard to cook food with the stove. Um, the shack was doing a really good job staying tied down. The heater was in there, which was good. The holes in the traps, they got filled in. And so it was just a lot. So it is 1.30 right now. We're gonna call it a day, but it was a really successful day. Caught two brook trout, two quality brook trout. Did a catch and cook with one. I was going to take the other one home and do another brook trout fry, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that in this video. I think I'm going to leave it to just that one catch and cook. Thank you everybody for tuning in and watching. This is so much fun. I can never wait to make the next video. Just, I just enjoy it so much. And I hope you all are enjoying it as much as I am. So. Thank you for watching. Check out my Instagram. It's T Spence Videos. Check out my YouTube page. Check out Game Text. If you catch anything, post it in there. Like I was saying before, I want to do a shout out Sunday. So if you're seeing this, if you're watching it, send me a picture and a description of a fish that you caught, and I will do my best to post it on, on my Instagram. That way we can all interconnect and It'll just be a lot of fun, so thank you. Until next time.